Hi, Julie, Jules Cruise Companion. Often when I'm traveling, I wear head coverings. Head coverings can often be uh, a bit controversial, especially if you put it on social media. Um, head coverings can be uh, cultural, head coverings can be religious, head coverings can be because of medical conditions, or head coverings could be uh, for just a fashion statement. Um, when I am in Jordan, for example, I wear head coverings because of the weather. I don't always want to wear a cap or a, a hat and uh, a scarf can both uh, act as a head covering and act as a, um, a, a fashion statement just around my body. And uh, to cover my shoulders, for example, if it's cooler in the evening, if, I, if I'm not wearing it on my head. So I will do a couple of examples um, of a couple of different head coverings that people might want to um, want to use when they're traveling. So what I'm going to try and do this time is more of a hijab style. I've shown some different videos where I've done um, a turban style, turban with a twist, turban with a tail. And I think I've done some with um, kind of a hijabi type covering. But this time I'm actually going to use the Jordanian scarf, which is the red scarf, and this is the square one. And I've made it into a triangle. And what I'm going to do is I am going to do a full hijab style. So I've almost got um, two thirds on one side, long side and a very short side. And what I'm going to do in the first instance, I mentioned before that I always cover it fairly over my eyebrows when I'm doing the initial style. And um, by doing that, I can then move it to where I want it to be later. So what I'm doing is I'm just doing a bit of a twist in so that it um, anchors uh, in and just is a little bit tidier to start with. And this is where my chins are gonna come in really, really handy. <laughs> because I'm going to lock this shorter, uh, shorter side underneath here with my chins. As I bring the other side over. And now I can reposition it a little bit. And by doing that twist, you just uh, anchor and you don't have quite of a bunch on the, to the side here. And when I bring this one over, I can just tuck that in. And that gives me a fairly tight and fairly practical um, straight hijab type style head covering. So I'm going to do that same hijab style with this red Jordanian scarf. And then at the end, what I will do is just do a little bit more of a variation So I want to have as much length on the long side as possible. Once again, I'm going to keep it over my eyebrows. I'm going to give it this internal tuck. Just as I come around, I'm just going to try and catch it as much as I can. And just to have some tension on it, there it goes. And the reason that I wanted to have as much length over the far side as possible was just so that if you needed to, if it was a bit of a, um, you're in uh, Wadi Rum, for example, and the wind was uh, blowing a bit much and you just wanted a little bit of an additional covering, It just gives you a little bit more in case a, a windstorm or a dust storm or a sandstorm came to greet you while you're in, um, in the desert, for example. Just another style, just to be as flexible as possible. <laughs> 
have fun, have practice, have as much fun as you can, and no style is right, no style is wrong. <laughs> Enjoy. So I hope you've liked what you've seen. If you do, give the video a like. If you're watching it on YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube channel um, and you can get a notification of any time I post anything new. Um, I travel to Jordan quite a lot and uh, I have uh, a contact with Ali Farash Jordan and he's been my driver now for a year or so, just over a year, maybe a year and a half and uh, uh, can offer you any advice about what to see, um, how to get fit to get to Jordan, because you do need to be fit uh, to travel uh, to Jordan to really get the most out of it. Um, what, what to do if in the hotter months, in the June, July type period, which months are better to travel. Just if you have any questions about Jordan, just ask me. Stay safe and happy travels. <laughs>